All right, so can't do that. Oh, did I stop the crow experiments? I guess I couldn't have gone after the source of the experiments. Maybe that's what the other one was. Hide together. Huh? Uh -oh. What are you doing, insubordinate test subject? We need to hide. Oh, jeez. Huh? Oh, jeez. Uh. Guess it was nothing. We need to be careful. Where are we going? This is scary. I could go for the locker. I could go for that. For the desk. Go for the curtain. Oh, I need to go grab her. That's what it is. The rabbit. I need to grab the rabbit. So I need to wait for him to walk backwards. Probably back towards the door. Oh, I didn't actually read what what the text said. I was just I pressed space. Okay, I guess that's a good spot. Guess that was the good option. Protect no matter what. Right here. It's not opening. <laughs> If you're not going to come out, watch what happens. Test subjects who don't obey can be punished. Dang, Chikara is a really bad person. Oh my don't goodness. The whole thing is dead itself. We're at a future. <laughs> Let's see if the hypothesis is correct. So scary. I don't want to hurt anymore. I need to protect the rabbit. No matter what. No choice. Okay. The masked woman cared for someone more than herself. She swore to protect them, putting them first. Uh, yeah, let's beat him up. Now's our chance. Save There's the no rabbit. Switch. I can't stop it. Huh? Mizuki, what do we do? Stop the drill. I don't think we can remove the restraints. She said that... That she'd protect them. No matter what. We You're gonna grab it? We have no choice. I don't think that's how this works. It's fine, you can stop! It's it's just robot hands, it's okay. Because of your order. And I am not in control either. Huh? It hurts. I do not know how much more I can stand, but she would have done anything to protect the rabbit. So in other words, this this is her will. Is her dearest wish? Isn't that right? Oh no, now they're both no, they're both gonna die. She broke the drill bit with her back. Examination over. I will protect them. I won't let you hurt them. 
and the Revival Initiative is proceeding as planned. Humanity will eventually reach Moksha. Honestly, I get I get like the the horror and the futility of the drill bit thing and not being able to stop it, but like I don't think laying on top of them stops the drill bit. <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. Probably would have had better luck trying to grab some large object. Something kind of sturdy, like a... I don't know, like a chair? A table leg? I don't know if you could have gotten something that heavy, but maybe a child could have picked up a chair and swung it at it, and they might have been able to, you know, snap it off. That probably would have been the best option. I don't know how I feel about grabbing the drill bit with your hands. Ouch. Ugh, I feel, <laughs> I feel kind of gross now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I could, I could definitely see why someone wanted him dead. That was, that was a good, good plan. I'm sorry, but I looked into your head. Into your dream, to be more technical about it. I want to ask you a few things. Is that okay? You've already brought me here. So there's a waiting <laughs> task for permission. Exactly. Or, were you intending we play some card games here or something? Alright. Well, uh, I, I like the mask. That mask is really stylish. Where'd you get it? I want one too. What? What are you trying to do here, Mizuki? Breaking the ice. I wanted to lighten the mood. I thought you would open up a little. Guess it didn't work. Unfortunately, I don't know any specifics. All I know is the plan. To cause a worldwide, that's the gist of it. Oop. Uh, I did not mean to do that. To cause a worldwide simultaneous bug. And have all of humanity reach Moksha. Okay. Gotcha. Well, what does that mean? I don't understand. I don't either. All I know is, that's their plan. Nice? Yes, but ever since Tokiko was killed, their plans have become even more shrouded in mystery. I don't understand it. There was a person that appeared in your dreams. He said this. The Revival Initiative is proceeding as planned. Humanity will eventually reach Moksha. That was terror, wasn't it? Which means you've met him. Why aren't you answering? Because I don't want to. Why not? Because I don't. Hey kid, are your hands okay? I or your back? I you everything I can share with you right now. Are you, is your back okay? You had a drill bit. Uh, you snapped it off with your back, which is pretty impressive, but that looked incredibly painful. Now let me go. I can't just let you leave. Why? Do you want to play card games? Some bridge, maybe. Mizuki, I do not think we can get any more information from her. We should think this through. Think what through? Where we are headed next. When we wink synced into that nice member at the shrine, he said this. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the rehearsal tonight. A rocket with TC Purge and the Warhead. And Terror's Diary said... The Nirvana Initiative, I'm going to make it a reality. TC Purge, such a wonderful virus. So tonight's rehearsal is for... The Nirvana Initiative? It is true we do not know the details, but they are almost certainly connected. But we don't know where to go. True. Rehearsal. Rehearsal. Oh, I remember! Let me just tell you this. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misata.
Hey, where are you going? Am I free to go, officer? I'm not a suspect. If you don't let me go, it's illegal detention. Hmm, that is correct. Fine, come with me. But only, only if you can get to the courts. I came to Misaton with the masked woman. I gave her all the details in the car ride over. We came up to the rooftop when something caught my eye. What are you doing here? And why do they let you go? What are you looking at? Oh, Ryuki's looking at the... yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, Mizuki. I'm here for the investigation, of course. You got the crazy eyes. It's not that I don't understand why, but... <sighs> I'll still never forgive you. What is she angry about? Hmm... Is she glaring at Ryuki? Her heart rate is rising. She seems agitated by something. Why? Unknown. I mean, I'd understand. I don't know who let him out. We need to have a handler for him. What do you mean? You don't seem well. Physically or mentally. I'm fine. If anything, I'm feeling good. It's all right now! Because I am here! Half might! Ultra plus one! You see? That's a great way to convince me of your normalcy. Mr. Date seemed well too. I want to know how Tom is doing still. Poor, poor Tom is trapped in that eye. What? I saw him earlier. What are you talking about? He was probably hallucinating. He had no mind. As I instructed before, it is generally better to not challenge those kinds of delusions. Or else, the symptoms might get worse. Like I said earlier, I'm here for the investigation. I got some important info. Here, on the rooftop, something terrible is going to happen. How do you know? Stop with the mouth. How do you know that? It looks like something terrible has already happened to you, Ryuki. True. I'm waiting. Waiting? For it to come down. What do you mean? Hey, are you listening to me? The Ferris wheel to come down? Oh well. Let's just leave Ryuki be for now. Right. We need to find the rocket. Hey, bastard. You... Yeah, beat him up. Oh. Uh. Nope. Huh? Um. Now he's asleep. What? Why did you do that? Why did you punch him out of nowhere like that? I kicked him too. That's not the point. It's not like I hit him in a weak spot. That's not an answer. I haven't gotten him back for six years ago. What are you talking about? Anyway, where is the rocket? We need to find it, or else... What the... Mizuki... I know. What? Uh... Ferris wheel? Is that the rocket? That's a bear. That would look awfully cute flying through the sky. Probably in the Ferris wheel, right? That, that's a... Now's not the time for a snack. <laughs> there actually could be a bomb I in the trash can. I wouldn't anything out of that. Even foie gras. Maybe that thing can fly. Even if it could, it's not a rocket. I think I've heard that before. In Japan, they don't have a lot of public trash cans because of, like, some kind of bomb scare that had happened at some point. Or maybe that's just like in general, I'm not sure, but 
because of that they don't have a lot of public trash cans so you really have to hold on to your trash until you find somewhere that actually has a trash can. It's probably the Ferris wheel. Oh, no. Wait. You're suspicious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there! The rocket. Mizuki. Yeah! So, I mean, if we just, like, dismantle it and get rid of it... Oh. Hey. Guess we're a little late. <laughs> but this was just the test run, right? This wasn't the real one? A rehearsal or something? Sorry, can you speak a little clearer? It's hard to understand you. I get the subtitles, but still. Terror knew that we were going to be here. We did kind of overhear his goons and all, so he, he probably got tipped off pretty good at that, actually. Although, well, we weren't ever told f verbally that, but maybe Terror knew that someone read his read one of his goons' mind. Oh, man, he's and not he's looking too good. Michi. This is the left half of the man named Yonaharo Enda. What does this mean? Right on the stage, too. What is it doing here? It's being smelly, that's what. We should investigate. It's been six years since he died. Then we can discuss what we have learned. Before inspecting the body. Okay. Hi, detective. Got, got anything? <sighs> I wish I could put some games in my phone. He said it's unprofessional. <laughs> Alright, uh, of course we gotta ask this guy's name. Oh, thank you. It is tough coming out here so early in the morning. Yeah, but what can you do? It's the job. Well, to me it's more than a job. It's my life. And I'm dedicated to solving this case. This is personal. I see. I can tell you're really committed to this. Komeiji's time of death is around 10 o'clock on the 13th. He didn't have anything on him. I guess it goes without saying, but the cause of death is the same as all the previous victims. No sign of hair, fingerprints, and even footprints. As a precaution, I've tested the area with luminol reagents. I thought maybe we could find Terror's prints. Luminol reagents emit light when they react to the iron in blood. Consider an imperceptibly small blood stain, or old blood stains that have been cleaned up or otherwise removed over time. Luminol will allow us to detect such things. Well, don't worry, I've been told all about Luminol before. Yeah, I know. Boss beat that kind of stuff into me like a million times. Unfortunately, the sun is out. It's too bright to see anything, really. I'll look again after we set up some shade. Okay. <laughs> have you forgotten? Oh, poor. Oh, right. Your Omi name is Omochi. Omochi. Why? My name is Omochi! Poor Omochi. We can't ever remember it. Omochi. It's Omochi. I said it's Omochi. I know his name already. I don't think I need to ask again. I think I know his name already. I probably don't need to ask. His name has disappeared into the void. Let's ask again. You're never gonna remember it, huh? Your name doesn't really matter. I remember you. I know that you're hardworking and kind. Isn't that enough? <gasps> Thank you! I look forward to seeing you around, Mr. Tsutsukamushi. I changed my mind. Names are important. Tsutsukamushi. Took some chocolate out of my pocket and handed it to the officer. Oh, thank you. I'm honored. 
the chocolate I gave you just now was bought in bulk by Mizuki last night. Today is Valentine's Day. Mizuki said I give a guy a 10 yen chocolate and they get really happy about it. Then they'll do anything I ask them. She's a terrible woman. It was actually dog poop made to look like chocolate. What? No. Yahoo! <laughs> You're reacting like a first grader. Andy's <laughs> Kameji's left half. I don't know how it's possible. <sighs> At a scene like this, I'm almost more stunned than I am upset. Not even a hair of evidence left behind. Terror must be meticulous, 